Timing. Different timing of single actions. The present perfect is used to express single actions that completed before now or before the time of speaking. For example, I have washed my shirts. They are clean. In this example, I started washing my shirts in the past and completed it in the past too. If so, why is it called present perfect? What is its relation to the present time? The present perfect joins the action in the past to an implicit or indirect meaning or a result in the present. The speaker here emphasizes the result or the implicit meaning in the present which is the are clean. Not the action in the past which is washing my shirts. On the other hand, the present perfect continuous is used to express single actions continuing from the past to the present. For example, I have been washing my shirts for two hours. I am tired. In this example, I started washing my shirts in the past or two hours ago. And this has continued up to the present or up to the time of speaking. The present perfect continuous expresses the continuity of the action for a period of time, starting in the past and continuing up to the time of speaking. And it can also have a result in the present. Now, we can summarize what we have just studied in this video in the following grammatical rule. The present perfect is used to express a single action which started in the past and completed before now or before the time of speaking. It joins the action in the past to an implicit meaning or a result in the present. On the other hand, the present perfect continuous is used to express a single action which started in the past and has continued or has been in progress up to the time of speaking. The speaker emphasizes the continuity of the action for a period of time, which is the duration of the action. It's a result in the present or both of them. The same timing of continual actions, both of the present perfect and the present perfect continuous are used to express a continual action that started in the past and has been in progress or has continued for a long period of time, up to now or up to the time of speaking. For example, she has lived there for 10 years and she has been living there for 10 years. In these two examples, she started to live there 10 years ago and has continued to live there up to now or up to the time of speaking. Now, we can summarize what we have just studied in this video in the following grammatical rule. Both of the present perfect and the present perfect continuous are used to express a continual action, which happens throughout an incomplete long period of time, from some time in the past to the time of speaking, for, since, how long, lately, recently, all his life, his youth, etc., with both of the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Always, in recent or in the last years, months, etc., and over recent or the last years, months, etc., where the present perfect only are used with verbs which express habits, jobs, and accommodation like live, work, teach, play, etc., to express continual actions. The speaker emphasizes the continuity of the action for a period of time, which is the duration of the action, or the duration of the action with its result in the present.